The FCC. FCC. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a shame uh, we we don't have any women on the panel today because this is this is part of I, I think you know the just the inherent sexism that we right. we see in society is that from a certain standpoint that we're seeing represented by the folks in power, it's okay to talk about grabbing a woman's pussy right. against her will. That's that's fine to suggest that Donald Trump's mouth is only suitable for holding Vladimir Putin's cock. Well, that's that's just horrible. Well, and also, you made this guy president. This guy said this before he became president, and you put him in about grabbing the pussy. You know, grabbing a woman in the pussy, and then now, Fox, who he loves, all those guys for their grabbing in the pussy, are, are all losing money, they're paying people out, and they're losing their jobs. Well, they're, yeah, they're going, and Hannity... House. Hannity's sorry ass is next. They're going to get him too. And then Fox will have to be, they'll, they'll have to rebuild, you know, and they should have said, you know, but they thought that they're, you know, and guess what? These are all their white women. No sisters, no brothers involved, although there is some racial shit apparently they're trying to bring in too. But I'm like, that. yeah, you hear about that? Yeah, they got a, fa- a racial lawsuit. Uh, oh, over uh, because the, the the last intern, or uh, she was a person that uh, Talked about O'Reilly harassing her. Uh, like the no, one who said he called her hot chocolate. Oh, did he? Oh. I know <laughs> well, you can't. I mean, look, you cannot. And people need to understand this. I see guys at work all the time. Hey, baby, why don't you walk in front of me? I just want to see you walk away. You know? And I, I look at him and say, really? You know, you got to understand. Well, I didn't say nothing wrong. I said, you can't talk to them like that. Okay, they've been they've they've changed the whole. This is in the fifties. You can't whistle at them. You can't you know call them baby. You can't call them honey baby child or hey sister or hey. But you can't do anything. Just say hello and walk away. And hey, she smiled at me. Didn't mean shit. She smiled at everybody. <laughs> you know, walk away. Oh, that's bullshit. If you're in the club, now mind you, in a club, you can do that. When when you're drinking, and you got the and you got the uh, and you got the music going, you can go. Oh, hey, baby, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey why don't me and you go cut the rug? And you you can say all that stuff, really, because she's got a she's got cleavage out. She's got all this stuff going on. You can go in a club and you can say that, but on the street, at the job, no. And and the, and I don't. And I'll say this: the other con- other countries are having huge problems with this. Guys that move here from like India and where they get free reign to fuck with women all they want. And they say, what do you mean? Her titties out. What do you mean I can't touch them? You can't touch them, motherfucker. What? And that, and that bothers them. That's why Arab countries. But, but my thing is either let them see it or don't. Because I think if, if, if you try to keep a man from seeing it, it probably makes it worse. You know, because like, you, like in other countries, you say, well, don't entice me. We pay attention to shapes and colors. You're being enticed anyway. You can't say, oh, don't entice me. She's covered in a, in a, in a black sheet. <laughs> Dude, your imagination takes over. I think she's got a big ass under that <laughs> sheet. You know, and then you attack. It doesn't matter. A woman in Saudi Arabia has to have a man with her at all times. You cannot leave the home without this guy. With, but what if he raped you? Then what are you going to do? You still get the blood in because, oh, he wouldn't do that. You must have enticed him. No, you told me to go with him, that he would protect me, and he was the bastard who raped me. I don't get it. I, don't I, I, I think this conversation exactly is how Uber was spawned. <laughs> yeah. Hey, even the Uber guys are raping people now. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, God damn it. Nobody can go anywhere. I, I, I just, you know, that's, that's – and, and – and, that's why health care is so needed. You know, we got to have health care, and it, you don't put a good health care plan together. You know, it used to be you could check into the institution for a couple of weeks and then leave. <laughs> you could. If you were crazy, if you thought you were having a nervous breakdown, you could just check in and stay for a while, walk out. Whew, boy, I'm okay. I'm good. You know, not anymore. Now they opened up all the mental institutions, and just like we just got people walking around. 
in a day, and we created all of them. We created every psychopathic person. We created every nutbag that's roaming around, and you tell us he don't get any health care? You know? Well, why? Did, like the guy in Canada who cut that dude's head off right on the, on the bus. He woke him. He just said he was staring at him the whole way. And he says, you know what? I think I need to cut his head off. <laughs> and he took out a buck knife and started cutting. And everybody's like, no one stopped him now. They're just watching. And I said, no, we can't have health care. We can't find good health care for, for the, the insaneness. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know if you ever spent the weekend at a, an insane asylum, but I did at all of you. No, but I grew up in a Jewish family, so. Yeah, there you go. And I, 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 they said, tell you, want to work some overtime? I said, cool, yeah, man. They, all of you. I st- Friday night, I swear to you, it was like checking into a club. They had a guy at the desk. Hey, you're, you're yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm on my way to kill myself. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, come on in. Come on in. I mean, there's a line. They were in business suits. Wow. Everything. They were checking in on the Friday. I swear I sat there and watched at least 20 people check in because they were nuts. They're just snapping. One girl said, hey, voices were telling her to jump. She had dressed up in a beautiful business suit. She had a briefcase. She didn't take her medication. Her girlfriends called. If her girlfriends had not called, the girl would be dead today. They said, hey, you know, you need to go down. and said, okay. Because the voices say I should go to, to a parking structure. She was going to jump. Yeah. I mean, so we can't have health care. We need it. Because you got folks walking around, you know, the guy out in Vegas who shot up all the black folks out in Vegas. Uh, they're, they're just shooting. Out uh, San Diego, as a matter of fact. They're all out watching, you know, at the pool. Dude walked out, pulled out a pistol. Boom, 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 boom. Just start shooting people. No health care. Gotta have it. You know, no wonder I walk around with my I mean, I, I can tell since there's some people around me, you know, hey man, you, 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 uh, you, you, uh, you come around here much? <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be back. I won't be around here anymore. Ooh, look at the time. <laughs> Gotta go. Yep. So uh, we do need we do need health care, the Republicans. But maybe maybe. And I was thinking about this this week and it doesn't really affect us as much in California because uh, Jerry Brown has basically said that, you know, California is going to be the the holdout and we, we are going to protect American values against Donald Trump and the Just likes. Not taxes. Uh, well, no, you know, got to got to pay for those American values, free, are, right? Are, are yeah. he taxing us for those American values? Because he's pretty much taxing us for everything else. Well, but I'm wondering if if the if God forbid uh-huh. uh, the the Trump health care health care plan or it goes through, it it could potentially do wonders for traffic and parking in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> and you figure, you know, this many people are going to be uh, 24 million off insurance. Right. That's going to lead to a lot of people dying, which could lead to less traffic. I and would be and surprised it'll be easier to find been... parking spots. Easy, you know, uh, housing will become more available. Mm-hmm. It's it's very Lord of the Flies. Yeah. And that has been that, and, that and movie's looking, been coming up a lot. It's yeah. It, you know, well, we're we're seeing uh I, I Who think Who wrote that? Uh William Golding. Wow. I wonder why he wrote that. I think it was, it was relevant to the times. It's, it's, you know, I guess it's just well, proving that twice. everything is cyclical, you know. Like it, they it did all that whole back. thing uh, out there where they told everybody to go out there to that island, the Ja Rule and all the guys. Are, oh, yeah, the fire Festival. Yeah, they about and they got screwed, week. man. And the lawsuits are going through the roof, you know. And they called, they said, this is more like the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> They said people were fighting over food and shit. Yeah, over cheese sandwiches, yeah. which was supposed to be uh, gourmet food. Yeah. And whoever the guy is, he better have one hell of a uh, insurance policy because they are going to fry his ass. They called up uh, what's his name? Uh, one of the big, I think the guys uh, again with a G. Uh, that's the that big attorney that they got. That's going to be going. Uh, you know, rep- he represented Chris. Chris. Uh, Chris Brown. He represented Chris Brown. Uh, I don't know if you know. Uh, oh, Gold, I, yeah, Gold, yeah, yeah. I know the guy you're talking so, yeah, about. That's who they went and got. They're, gonna, they're, they're planning because those people were starving, man. They're out there for hours. Whoever put that together, he's going <laughs> to Yeah, but you never know. Uh, the, the way things are these days, 
he's he's going to get raked over the coals. Then in in two years, he's going to come out with the the fire festival diet. Yeah. How to, how to lose weight in yeah. two days? It's like the, you know, but I said gullibility. I, I, I need to I need to find me a good book on gullibility because that's what you know. It, it just goes back to the the pet rock, you know, and, uh, and you know that you know we got a guy to to sell you a rock in a box. And I know Eric and I used to always talk about. You always bring that up, and I said because it's true. Mm-hmm. You know because you you cannot get away from it. I mean it's. And and you you wonder why we have less? It's or people aren't making any strides. I mean, they don't want to. You know, a lot of folks, you know, um, whether it's the criminal element, everybody's over, all about screwing over each other. You know, we just found we just got rid of a guy from our cigar lounge because he basically over the past seventeen, almost twenty years, he had been taking uh, ripping guys off. With his little money schemes. He had been kicked out of probably throughout California. He's probably been kicked out of about 15 different cigar bars. They won't, his name, his picture's posted. Wow. Because he's borrowed money from everybody. From I mean, I'm talking thousands of dollars. And all because you know, people trusted him and they and just taking advantage of folks. And I think that's what happens. I think our government and... Well, it doesn't always work that way. It's, it's, I was going to say, you know, Trump's picture was everywhere, but people still gave into that. Oh, yeah. Well, that I, that also, and I mean, they didn't talk about it much, but, you know, they wanted a white man in, in office. Oh, sure. You know, Absolutely. I mean, it never came up. And I don't... I they, mean, and you they, know, they won't talk about it. You no, know, they, it's... No, and that's no, what, no one that's, wants to admit that they're a racist. No, but you know what... I, or a sexist. Yeah, and the, so the, the narrative go. has always been there. And as I've said to you many times, that is a discussion that no one wants to have. And it's definitely a person who's white. I mean, and I'll, I used to always tell uh, guys that, you know, I hate Tiger Woods. I said, why do you hate Tiger Woods? Well, he, you know, he, hey, man, he, you know, he won't admit he's black. I said, why don't you hate the guy who made you check the box on the application that you're black? Hate him. And he looked at me, and he said, what the fuck? I said, yeah. I said, because that's, that's the thing you don't understand. You're mad about something that someone else told you who you were. You didn't tell. Someone told you that. When you're in the womb, you know nothing. You are a blank slate. You could be bazooka. I don't know. <laughs> but you're born. That's it. And yet you're, you know, he, you're mad because he won't join the group. They said we're supposed to be in the group. The group said no. And when you don't, when you when you play into that, that's how you end up voting for Trump, because you play into the bullshit. You do, you do not see yourself. You want to join the group because the group says da 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 da. And when you join in, okay, you're going down like the rest of them. You're like a a bunch of sheep going over a damn over a cliff. You know, you just you know that's why they they wrote about it in the Bible because everybody's following. But that one that just said, mm, you know, you ever see that cartoon with the, with the wildebeest, and the guy and the, the one says, "Is that a log in the water?" He's tapping log. It's you show the show the uh, uh, pop balloon uh, pop up and it says, "Oh, log." And you no, know, then the other one behind him says, mm, "No, crocodile." <laughs> <He> says, <laughs> no log. See? And he hits the log, poof, and the crocodile says, "Mm-hmm, yep, that was a crocodile." <laughs> That's who we are. Well, and that is all the time we have oh. for this week's Let's Be Treasonable. Do you have any shows to plug this week, Tom? I, uh, May 18th, I will be at Flappers, uh, you know, uh, Flappers uh, Comedy Club, uh, performing uh, in the name of the uh, deal. Uh, who is it? Uh, but it's old school against new school. Oh, right on. Yeah. So. I got a big thing coming up in June that I will talk about uh, more on future episodes. But for now, we have another episode of Let's Be Treasonable in the bag and another one coming up next week. So be sure to tune in. If you like what you heard, tell your friends. If you don't, keep it to yourself. <laughs> uh, for Let's Be Treasonable, I am Dr. David Robinson. And time and ship. And we will talk to you next week. Take care of yourselves. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye.